And when you have things that hang off the table, if you have a towel that like half of it, it's hanging like here on your table, don't pull it back up, leave it mm -hmm. or get rid of it. Never pull anything towards your field. Everything is away. You understand? So you're not bringing anything dirty onto your field. Perfect. And then you can fold it. How I showed him, or you could just fold it however you want. Just that when you open it, it's back to how you had it. That's good. And you put it on top of there. Perfect. And now you're gonna put up this. We're not gonna use that's for laparoscopy, but you're just gonna put it like maybe underneath your lap all the way because we don't need none of that. You can just put it on a exactly, exactly. I know that lap drape was full. All that corner. And then now you can put maybe your sutures up here for now, just so you get them out of the way, and then put your towels on your la on your that back table. So just throw them up here, just so that you can dress your back table with your towels and you have space. Okay. And what you can do is put these towels on a corner over there, so that you have you can drape up here too. You know what I mean? Put that one over there too. Yeah, you can put it there for now. Later on, you'll you'll make you'll you'll uh huh, and then now you can do that. Perfect. Now you can get your tray. And you make sure, okay, it's sterile. You reach in. Try not to contaminate your gloves or your gown with the with the outside of the pack. Wonderful. Onto the center there, and you can start bringing your basins. Before you take your instrument, bring your basins, make sure everything here is in place. Your, uh -huh, your septo, take your laps out. You can put them next to your instrumentation there. Perfect. Okay. So that's a key to remember. Always where the feet of the patient is, that's where your basins go. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's a little difficult because there's been rooms that I worked in that the patient comes in like this and but your table and your patient's right there just like this but your table is here you know what I mean so then you don't know it depends where the surgeon is gonna stand where you go or not and so that's when oh my god do I set up to the right do I set up to the left where are we gonna go over there we're we gonna come here so <laughs> you just play with that but usually just so you know, if you're here, like in this kind of setup, how we, how we have it here, you set your basins to the feet of the patient because that's how you're gonna bring in your, your back table. Wonderful. And then the, that, um, no, no, go ahead. The bowie and the suction, you can leave in your ring stand or you can put it on top. Some people, later on they put like on top of all their instruments that they're going to use in their case they'll cover that with a towel and then on top of the towel they'll put everything that needs to be put on top of the patient mm -hmm. like the two laps and the bowie with the cord and the suction and you can do that too you just you know this is going to come easy later on when you start doing everything over and over next time you say oh well, you know what it took me longer i'm going to put the suction here next time so it's easier for me and you play with that you'll learn that as you go it's your technique the way you want to do it um, okay, yeah, go ahead. So you have that, you're gonna, what do you have on the basin still? The suction and the, the bowie? And the bowie. You can yeah. leave it there. And, oh, okay, back to that. The nurse is gonna give you water. So in this case, you don't want the towels, or you don't want the suction, or you don't want the bowie on there. So it depends. Oh. If the nurse is gonna give you the water, then you take it out, put it on your back table, have that ready for her to put the water. If not, you can leave it there and then just Bring your, your ring stand when you're ready to put all this cabling. It's your choice. If, the, if she's going to give you the water, you know you're going to take it out. But that's okay. Leave it there for now. Okay. So now you're going to unstring your instruments. Put them close to you. Make a roll with your towel. Just put it on the side? Or yeah, you can throw that away or put it on the side. I mean, you're not going to throw it away from here because they need it. But, you know, you're going to have that little paper hanging here. That little paper bag. And you all those little things you put in there. This yes, you give to your nurse. We're going to count. <clears throat> and the packs and the the packs when they come with their those towel clips that are plastic and disposable you need to count those two with the nurse too because that can stain the patient mm -hmm. you know those are things that can stain the patient 
You don't count the towels because they don't use this, but you will find many cases, many surgeons that when they do big bowel cases, they will use this inside. They will moisten this with saline and put it inside for retraction, the towels. No good. Mm. No good, because if that stays, you don't find, that's not radio it's paint. Not radio, yeah. So try yeah. never to do that. If that happens, you have to keep extremely close eye on that. Tell the nurse there's a towel inside, <laughs> you know. So, yes. Okay. Remember you have two loose. So Sorry, now at this time, if you want, before you want to string it, you can count it. That way, yeah, what, that, what, that, we'll, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, let's is, leave it for now. It's more easier if you can count it like if that. If you can count it, you can count it like that. Yeah. Some nurses will say, no, 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 unstring that because you know Whatever. we need to lose each one. There's picky nurses who say, okay, whatever. In other nurses, you count and they don't care. But leave it for now anyways, because we have to start cleaning in a little bit, and it's gonna take us longer to restring everything. Mm -hmm. So, and this is exactly what the nurse, see how I do this? This is exactly what the nurse will do. She's gonna go in behind you to count. She'll move this out of the way so she can go behind you and count. She'll make sure she don't contaminate. She'll go back here. And much of, much of the text when they go in the OR, you want to become a nurse. Later on, for some reason, you want to do the nursing. You're like, you know what? I'm going to pay more. I'm going to be standing here all day and sitting there. I think I'm going to go over there. <laughs> <laughs> and then you probably become nurses. That's all possible. It just depends. Maybe you'll move further and mm -hmm. do physician assistant, you know, like you were talking. Um, or maybe you just stay as a surgical tag and then come to the school and instruct. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all good okay you can give me that and I'll throw it away for you a lot of the people they'll keep this and they'll write their own little thing because you got to keep count too don't trust your nurse only to write down what you're telling her you got to keep count too because sometimes there are nurses that are like dyslexic and you say four and they believe <laughs> it's like 24 or something like that it happens we're not perfect so you gotta keep counting and say, no, I told you one. Did you put that one? No, I said I added two more needles, remember? And you put four and all this back and forth. So make sure that's why we keep the packages mm -hmm. and you keep your own packages there. So so at the end, you, you have a better count than her because remember when we opened this one, it only has like a barcode. It doesn't say if it's silk and it doesn't say if it has two needles or nothing. It didn't have, some do, some don't. So you have all the packages. Here you can see there's two needles so uh, you always keep that so that at the end you can count and be accurate with your count. And then you can say, no, I got proof. Look at my packages. This is what I have. All right, so we're gonna count. You can get your, uh -huh, your knife handle to count and point your instrumentation. Since it's not loaded with your knives yet, you can use that. Okay, so we're gonna start. First, we have the mosquitoes. We have four curved mosquitoes. We have one, two. So now you're gonna separate each one and, and count it out loud. You're gonna say mosquitoes one. Okay, mosquitoes one. Two, two three, three, four. four. Okay, straight. We have three. Three. One. Three, one. Two. Three. Okay, so curved cryos or hemostats. We have how many? One. Two. One, two, and then we have three and four. Well, this one's in the middle, and that, that's yeah. a small needle holder. This <laughs> thing by mistake, but it's okay. Yeah, that's a needle holder. Yeah. But okay, yeah. four and four and, and we go four straight. That's a straight hemostat also, or cryo. One, two, three, four. Okay, Kelly's, we have four. Kelly's one. one. Two, three, four. Okay, four two curved cokers. One, two. two. Alice's. We got one, two. Two smalls uh -huh. and two large. Okay, Babcock's. Two. One, two. Adson. One, one two. two. We call them Adson or we call them tonsil so those are adsin or tonsil um right angles we got two two uh needle holders you have one very good one two and three perfect sponge sticks one and two and
And what is that? I think that's a straight coker. Yes. yes it is. Straight cokers, so one two. and two. We have to anatomy scissors, one. one. Curve me uh, mats, long, one. One. Short mats, one. one. Curve one. mayo, one. And straight mayo, one. Good. Okay, pickups. We got. So we can all of them in the street or? Um, so here we have, okay, so tissue forceps, we have eight. So we're counting, okay, we have eight total, but we have DeBakey's two. One, two, okay. Forceps without teeth, one, which is the tissue forcep or, yeah. or forcep without teeth. Uh, the next one is forcep with teeth, we have one. And AdSense with teeth, we have two. And then we have an AdSense without teeth, is it? No, we have. Like this is without oh that's with no. teeth that's an absent brown and it's not on here but that, oh yeah it is absent brown we have one we have one absent without teeth and one absent with they both have teeth and it says here without oh okay i'm wrong we have absence with teeth too and the absent without they had a zero okay so that's fine <laughs> uh army navy's two okay two um Richardson's, we have one inch, one and one half, and two. So the one inch is this this one, yes. One and a half inch is this one, and the two inches is that one. Perfect, because that's the width. Well, the width. This, okay. well, really is the long. So this is the length, one and a half, one, one. inch, and okay. two. Yeah, okay. Uh, the appendix seal. It says here, and that's the appendix. This is wrong. She told me this is wrong. Okay, <laughs> so hold the middle uh, one up for me. This is an appendix seal Richardson. Here they have. This is two, but. Richardson's one. Okay, I'm sorry. So going back, the Richardson's inches in sizes is is this one is half an inch. Let me see. This, this is one a, inch. This is about an inch. This is two, this is and that's the appendix seal. Yeah, this is the appendix. This is the appendix seal. The other one is not here. That other one that's uh, one, one and a half. half. It's not here because it's bigger. It's thicker than this one. This is the appendix seal Richardson. Okay, that's what it's called. Why? Because it's used for when we do appendix, appendix, append, appendectomy. Yeah. That's what they use. The appendix incision is only this big. Yeah. So they go in really deep though, and that's the good one, because it's small, the incision is small, so you can go in in a small incision and go deep and, and open, because you can use for this one. They could, but this one is, exactly. So that's the appendix seal. Okay, we have send retractors. We have four, tell me where do you have the send retractors? Those are rakes or, or? Um, yeah, these are rakes. Those are rakes. So the sun retractors are this little one that look like the rake, but they have another thing on the other side, which is like a one finger retractor. We have two the sharp and two dull. This is the two, and this is the two dolls right here. Two dull, perfect, and two sharp. Perfect. And that's how you do it too. When you start counting, you lay them out like he's doing. That's usually how people do all the retractors. You'll hit, hook them on the this side so the nurse can see it. It's easy for you to just come in and pick them up. And we have one Ragnell. Uh, Ragnell, one. Yes. Perfect. We have the two double skin hooks. Be careful with this one. Yeah, that one's sharp. Okay. We have two Wheelanders, one uh, sharp and one without gray. You guys know your instruments already. I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. We have two <laughs> Army Navies, gray. We have four towel clips, beautiful. And we have two knife handles. Yep. Okay. And can you please count the blades for me? One, two, three, four. Four, five, okay. Five blades. Five blades. And hypodermic needles. Three. They'll say hypos. Three. And how many laps do we have? One, two, three, four. And that's what they want. They want you to do that. They want you to get.